Hi, Random Bearded Veteran here today with another... Random Bearded Veteran, here to talk to you today about the age-old question, which sidearm is the right sidearm for me? So we have a whole bunch of different ones to choose from today. All the things you see on the table here are gas blowback. So things to keep in mind with that is cost. You're always going to pay a little more with the gas blowback. So. Magazines are a little more expensive compared to an AEG. BBs are the cost of BBs. The one thing you have is green gas, but you don't have batteries. So there's pros and cons, trade-offs. Nothing's free to run. You just got to pay a little differently. So a couple different choices here. We've got the uh, tricked out Glock here. We've got the uh, Beretta M9. A little bit of the memories of Die Hard over here. Memories of Goldeneye over here in the corner with the Scorpion. We've got the M10. Memories of South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> America's Commando Rifle. And the MP9 or as I like to call it, the Swiss Uzi. Swizzy. It is. Absolutely. So, um, I'm not sure if Dribble's touched on this yet. A big key thing, if you are part of a team, benefits of everyone running a similar firearm are interoperability. So when you're in the middle of something and everybody has the same magazines, that can sometimes make the difference when you're out but he throws you one, exactly, and it still works. Versus I'm running this, he's running this, and we need ammo, there's not much we can do about that, unfortunately, so. And that's the big thing with teams. There is no right gun, wrong gun, but if you're all gonna be on a team, you should all run the same gun. Mm -hmm. It does it definitely work in the long run for that. Things to think about, depending on what your play style is, is finding one that you're comfortable with, the right size, holsters, accessories. Some people prefer something with more of a classic look, as you can see, just as is. Some people like having the ability to add the accessory rail. Putting a light on the end of this can also be very beneficial too. You may not necessarily have, a, you might be running a DMR, you may not have an accessory light on there. You go into a building, CQB, quick transition drill, you've got your light on the end, and now you can use that to start clearing your corners going up and down and going through the rooms. Depending on your primary, you might want something with a little more volume of fire. An SMG with select fire, full auto, semi-auto, and again, full auto, semi-auto, can make a big difference for a sniper when you're stuck in a little cubby hole trying to get your way out. Instead of having a pistol with 10 shots, magazine with 50, and full auto can get their heads down a little bit better. To piggyback off of that as well, as we all know, DMRs and snipers are burdened with a minimum engagement distance. Having a submachine gun option as your backup negates that. It also allows you to be equally as effective at distance as with CQB. You may not have quite the same ammo as somebody running beside you with the carbine, with the AEG, but at the very least, extended magazines and the option for full auto means you're still going to be a force to be reckoned with while you're going through those buildings. I'm not sure there's too much else to say other than the right pistol or the right sidearm is the one you practice with and the one you can use. Because there is no perfect gun, you got to practice with everything you choose. Absolutely. I think we've basically covered all the bases we want to go to, so be safe out there. Remember, never cheap out on your safety gear, your eye pro, or your face guards. It's a game of honor, so always uphold that. Play safe and have fun, guys. Don't be a dick. That's it.